How many of you guys have heard the term kayfabe? What's kayfabe? What's that? Wrestling reality. What's wrestling reality? Because I've yet to see any reality in wrestling. <laughs> What's the imaginary world of wrestling? Us trying to sell what we're doing. What, what are we trying to sell? <laughs> Keep it real. The finish. Yes, sir. That's kayfabe. You're selling the finish. Kayfabe is not smartening people up. How long do you think people have known that wrestling's fake? Many years. Yeah. How many years? 50, 60 years. Probably longer than that. In North America, they've known it since 1934. Yeah. 19, well, 38, 1938, they stopped reporting results of professional wrestling in newspapers because the newspapers knew it was fake. So, if they've known it's fake for that long in Canada and the United States, why did thousands of people continue to pay money to watch it over the years? What's that? They didn't know what the actual finish would be. Because they could believe in what the wrestlers were doing while they were in the building, in the ring. And when they stepped out of the building, at no point in time did the wrestlers ever insult the audience or disrespect the audience by, hey, you're wrestling him tonight and the two of you show up in the same car. Kayfabe was a way to give, show respect to the audience and respect your own business. It was a way to protect it because we all knew, fans knew, everyone knew that wrestling was fake. It was predetermined. But if I'm going to spend my money to want to buy into and believe in something, am I going to spend my money and buy into it and believe in it and you then just drive up and flaunt it in my face that I just got taken? How, if you go watch a movie, how many millions of dollars do they spend, millions upon millions of dollars do they spend to allow you for the two and a half hours that you're in that movie theater to be submerged into that movie? How many times have you been watching a movie and a, it's a car chase and one a car goes around the corner and it's got a dent on the door and then it comes around another corner and the dent's gone? And you immediately notice it and what happens? It takes you out of the movie and it's... You don't enjoy the movie as much, do you? So now you've just wasted how much money? And do you think the movie's good? Do you recommend it to your friends and family? Did you know the movie was fake before he went in there? Did you know that Spider-Man is not a documentary about a young man shooting jizz out of his wrist? Huh? Because if you didn't, I'm here to tell you that's not the case. How many of you know that magic's not real? Everybody? I dare everybody to put a hand up and please, because otherwise I'm walking out of here, because that all means you guys are completely retarded. What's the one thing that's fake about magic? Huh? Yeah. There's always one thing that's fake about everything. Just the finish, which is the belief that that magician is up there altering physics in reality. He's actually making shit float. He's pulling rabbits out of his ass which I can do, but it's always a chocolate bunny. I like to call him Fudgy. He's a brown hair. What's that? Our trainer just told us that we are magicians. I'm a, I am a magician. You're a magician? Apparently. We're in the ring here, magicians. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> but this I, do magic, I do magic for the blind. Yes. I do it. Rotary clubs and things like that. They love card tricks. I just gotta say ta-da all the time and they don't know anything happened. So is this your card? I don't know. It is, ta-da. How's he do it? It's amazing. I'd do it for you right now, but it wouldn't be the same for you because you can see. So I, I hope they continue to make more fucking noise in this goddamn building. Kayfabe is never stopping selling the gimmick of wrestling, which is the finish. That's it. Protect it. 
Don't insult people. Don't flaunt it in their face. Don't make them feel dumb for spending their money to see you. I can't tell you how over the years how many times I have listened to stories from guys who talked about, oh, I used to love this particular wrestler and he was in this big feud or he was gonna wrestle this guy in this big match and I couldn't wait to see it and then I saw them out to dinner together or I saw them pull up to the building together and then that just ruined it for me. And it's like, smarten up. Whose business is this? Whose business does this belong to? Whose professional wrestling belong to? Does professional wrestling belong to the promoters? Huh? What's that? People? No, they don't belong to them either. Does it belong to the writers? Does it belong to the bookers? It belongs to? It belongs to you. It's your business. So it's up to you to protect it. Because if you guys don't respect it and don't protect it, who in the world will? Everybody else shits on it, makes fun of it, downs it, and yet they all pay to see it. Do they not? They all watch it on TV, but they all run it down in public. So if you guys sit there and disrespect it, who else is going to protect it? Them? They're not going to. It's not going to happen.